Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. One of the things that is not frequently considered when talking about rare earths is their capability to treat water. Uh, in other words, there is a number of processes that have been approved that use rare earths to purify drinking water. Now, obviously, uh, this is an incredible opportunity and a business growth potential for rare earths. And I say this because, you know, usually we've been talking about things like hybrid cars and fancy magnets and things that may or may not have much to do with the average uh, person. But the ability to purify drinking water in a standalone system is going to be immensely valuable worldwide. I don't need to tell you uh, about that. Secondly, the other area which rare earths have some great potential is in the area of purifying arsenic-laden mining and smelting uh, stream processes. In other words, the excess waste that comes off that in many mining practices contains arsenic can be significantly removed or eliminated by various processes in the hands of the rare earths uh, companies. So these two areas, given that we expect power needs to grow worldwide, and I want to remind you of something basic. Most countries that are rational want nothing to do with being over-dependent on our Middle Eastern, I can't even call them friends or allies anymore, the sheikhs. So they are prepared to do things like mine coal, like mine uranium, to make sure that they get to be energy independent. In some cases, the processes for these, as well as gold and other things that we think of in a normally more positive light, involve significant waste products. So the ability to remove arsenic, and I think everybody knows what arsenic's about, uh, from uh, downstream water is a tremendous advantage and can be a very lucrative um, opportunity for rare earth companies. Now we want you to aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Check out our white paper on rare earths and have a super day. Remember that uh, today is a day not just to make money, but to try to do something nice for somebody without getting any credit for it. This is Arnie Waters, Waters Capital in Boston. Bye-bye.